Hey everybody, uh, T-Shirt Booth here from the Game Solid Forums. Uh, today I saw a video from the guys who made Corona uh, on how to make a simple game in about 8 minutes. And I, I thought it was interesting, so I'm going to do the exact same game in Game Salad, but I'm going to do it without knowing a line of code, without having to write a line of code, without even understanding code, and not only am I going to do it without that stuff, but I'm going to do it a lot faster. Um, you're going to see me do the exact same game in about a minute. Maybe a little longer because I'm going to explain what I'm doing on the way. Um, but you're going to see definitely how much easier it is with Game Salad um, than it is with Corona. So I have a blank project here. We're going to go Portrait. I'm going to go OK. We're going to double click our initial scene. I'm going to add my images. I have balloon and a background. I'm going to drag both of these images and make actors. I will drag the background actor onto the scene, rotate it and position it to where I want it. I'm going to grab the balloon and put it up top here. I'm going to shrink it a little bit. Now I don't have an actor for a floor so I'm just going to make one. I'm going to drag it to the bottom here. That's pretty much done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to give these actors some rules. So let's start with the physics. I'm going to go into attributes and give the environment some gravity. Let's say about 500. Let's start with the balloon. I am going to tell it uh, a behavior. I'm going to tell it that it's supposed to collide with the floor. And then I'm going to make a rule that says when I touch, when I touch this actor, we're going to change velocity in the direction of up, just like they did in the corona, at 300 relative to scene. We're going to tell the physics, we're going to give it some little bit of bounciness, instead of 1 we're going to go 0 0.5, and this one is movable. We're going to go into the background, we're going to tell it that it is not movable because we don't want it falling off the scene, and then we're going to go into the floor and tell it that it is also not movable and no bounciness. And that is it. I have made the exact same game that they made. As you can see, it bounces. And when I touch it, it goes up just like theirs. So I did the exact same game that they did in a lot less time. Um, not to mention that they did it in eight minutes, but a lot of the code they used, they had to cut and paste um, to do it in eight minutes. Uh, had they had to type it from scratch, it probably would have took about 15 to 20. So that's pretty much it, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.